Hi crazy YouTubers. So I have been working on this drum bot idea for about a year and a half, two years. And I noticed there was um, an Adafruit project using solenoids. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I mean, I have tried servos noisy and slow. I have tried car door actuator motors. They're basically a little rotary motor that drives a rack and pinion. Noisy and slow. Solenoids. Need my glasses for this, sorry. Solenoids. It's a little wire here, battery over here. Now that's just brute force current straight on. I use a little, I'll use a little microcontroller to actually fire it and eventually it'll kind of connect to the drum machine or to Logic Pro um, via MIDI. Um, next big printing project, because that's a 3D printed bracket, next big printing project will be the kick drum beater riser and I should have that done in the next day, probably. But um, the, underneath here is a little 3D printed drum tip, drumstick tip. So it's actually, you know, like the whole thing's come right down. It's a 12 volt battery. It's got about six volts left in it. I haven't charged it in ages. Normally runs the air horn in my cargo bike. Two of these, one on each side plus one for a rim shot. And I should be able to get some quite serious power because the kind of duty cycle a drum head is will allow me to go way over the rate of 12 volts, probably up to about 20 volts. Um, because it'd be a really short duty cycle because I want it to actually stop powering just before it hits the skin. So maybe eight, 10, 12 at worst milliseconds. This should, you know, like even the kick drum beater will, hang on, I'll go get it. I should have got it. Even the um, kick drum beater, so light, these little 20 Newton um, solenoids will whack the living crap out of it with a 20 volt drive for a few milliseconds and um yeah so don't bother with car door actuators don't bother with pneumatics they're expensive don't waste your time with servos because they're noisy even really good quality ones, and to get the good high power ones that do a good flick, and it has to be a kind of a flick if you're using servos because they don't have even the force that these do. Um, yeah, just go straight for solenoids.